hi everyone it's Leto again hey just wanted to um, do a quick review over your uh, power analysis um, resource that you guys all received um, it's a lot to take in eh? and it's broken down into you know different sections and I just want to cover on some of the um, quickly cover over some of the things that I read um, in section one power theory and practice um, you know it talks about negative versus, versus positive power um, and you know how how there are you know the scale tips uh, when it's positive power towards um, working with um, community or those people um, who find that power um, can quickly use it um, in certain ways to I guess react or gather towards a cause um, and that and I'm just thinking about uh, when a community to have a community rally together for a cause um, you know they hold substantial amount of power um, and moving forward with their decision making in terms of um, allowing a really good engagement process to happen um, it really it really lifts the bar um, I guess the standard for them um, depending on you know how high the expectations that they set um, and then just yeah there's there's a couple of there's a couple of exercises as well um, that you might want to look at doing um, sorry I'm just quickly going over and then we've got you know outcome the outline of how we use power analysis um, it talks about the what the process is and the one-to-one -one support um, the successes and the challenges um, and the way of documenting um, this as you know within the tool while well, using this as a tool um, and then three is again you know um, what changed what changed for the organizations as a result of power analysis so it is quite a robust read um, you know and I guess one thing that I would like to see um, and maybe a few can put some thought into it is around you know again how do you um, practically use this um, what are some of the key things pick one thing um, that you would use um, and how would you apply it um, because it's all good that we have this um, in, you know in theory um, but the practice will only happen if you um, if you can apply um, these tools, these reading tools, um, into the work that you do. Um, so I'm just think, trying to think of um, power analysis example. Um, and one thing that comes to mind is uh, I might have you may have heard this example before. Um, it was around um, the Riverside Superhero Mural Project. So. I felt that within this particular segment, um, within the community hui, when we asked around, um, they got into groups and I asked the question, um, you know, what are some of the possibilities that you could use for a certain type of space um, that was not well u utilized? And they came up with all sorts of um, options um, and they talked about their options. And one thing that really struck me was that um, we had young people um, being really creative drawing what it would look like. So to me, um, the power dynamics really changed um, when asking that question because they had the knowledge, they knew what they wanted and they were able to articulate that very well. Um, on, as well as the next steps um, forward, um, again, they were uh, they were able to articulate they were able to pull together who they would need inside that room to make things work and put an action plan so um power dynamics within power analysis um within your engagement strategy or um, when you do engagement is very useful to know um, because you're able to identify um what really drives people and how they could move and 
I guess pro make progression for themselves. So that's a little bit of a snippet for me on power analysis. Um, please comment on your thoughts. I really would want to hear um, what what are some of your examples um, where you see that um, that you can reflect on power analysis. Um, yeah, and talk to you soon. Take care.